Hi, I'm Jake with Aero Building, and today we're at a siding renovation project that our firm's doing in Columbia, Missouri. And this is more a building science practice than it is siding renovation. So this client called us because for 25 years since this home was built, they've had bulk water issues. And those water issues have been windows leaking, roof to wall connections leaking, the deck leaking, a door that's underneath of a deck. Like they have just had bulk water problems from day one. So we came, we pulled all the siding off of the house. One thing that we discovered is that behind the siding, absolutely no water management whatsoever. No weather resistant barrier, no air barrier, no nothing. Just OSB on the corners or in the strand board for shear bracing and every 25 feet and then everything in between a mix of the black Celotex board or polyiso foam. So first, we would rather see full sheathing on the whole house. We'd rather get that shear panel all the way across. We'd rather not skimp on any exterior bracing whatsoever. So we want to get rid of the polyiso or the Celotex. So everywhere that they had used Celotex, no insulation behind it. They used it as the insulation and they're not worried about anything else. Everywhere that they'd used polyiso did have insulation, but it also had vapor barrier on the inside. So they had essentially a plastic diaper on the house, uh, on the framing and the insulation, because they had non-vapor permeable on one side and non-vapor permeable on the other side. So we want to go ahead and eliminate that. So what we've done is we've added OSB onto the outside, which is vapor permeable, and then we've added this product. This is from Prosico. This orange stuff, the red stuff, and the pink stuff that you can't see that's covered up is all from Prosico. It is a, it's a Cat5 and fla Fast Flash. So it's all the fat, Fast Flash family. Uh, so the seam treatment on every sheet of OSB and every nail head gets a joint and seam treatment. It's in a sausage tube, squeezed out, trialed in place. Uh, all of our openings get that when we make directional changes, and then our openings get treated with the red product that you can still see here that we haven't covered up yet. It's called Fast Flash. And so we'll take out every single window, slope the sill so that it comes to the outside so that if this window ever does leak, the water has to come out. We add a back dam in the back, and then everything gets fast flashed, and so there's a, uh, a lower area in each window that's completely waterproof. Then the windows get installed, set in fast flash on three sides. It's open on the bottom. If it ever leaks, we don't have any problems. After the joints and, and nail heads are filled and the windows are all prepped, we come back and roll on this Cat5. What we like about this product is if you check it with the mill gauge, everything from that point on is just waterproof. So as long as you get it to the mill thickness that they, that they ask for, wall to wall, floor to ceiling, corner to corner, however you want to look at it, it's one monolithic unit that is waterproof. So it doesn't matter what kind of cladding we put on after that point, no water's getting through this. So it doesn't matter if the caulking fails on the siding or if the siding was installed poorly to begin with. It doesn't matter because we're protected. Uh, and we're not worried about a penetration in this when we, when we nail through it because once you nail it in, as long as you leave that nail in, it's not a hole. It's a hole that's filled with a nail and it won't, it won't be a leak. Uh, and the product's vapor open, so it doesn't matter that there's poly on the inside of these walls, which used to be practice in our area and isn't anymore. Uh, we're protected, basically. For us, the next step on this siding renovation is going to be a rain screen. So we'll have a 3-8 strapping that goes over, to, over top of every single stud and picture frames every window. That will hold the siding off of the wall 3-8 of an inch. That 3-8 of an inch is more than enough airflow to dry anything that gets wet back there and to allow any moisture that gets back there to to sink unimpeded all the way out uh, and be outside of our uh, assembly where we're not worried about it. And then we'll have James Hardy fiber cement siding. It's a great product. By itself, it's 95% probably or so uh, waterproof, but we're not then having to feel like we should give our clients a, this is how often the caulking needs to be checked, this is how often it needs to be replaced, that these are the things you have to look. It can just all be associated with general exterior maintenance of the home. We're going to look at it every once in a while. We're going to take care of problems that arise, but we know that we're waterproof, and so we don't have any problems that we have to associate here with just putting siding on the house. So for 25 years, they've had problems. From here on out, they won't. This stuff's been exposed for a couple weeks now. We're finishing up on another side. It's been rained on a bunch. We haven't had any issues. I actually had the client send me a video the other day of water beating off of it while it was pouring down rain. So I think this is the perfect system for it. It's a renovation. It's already, there's OSB already in place. 
let's use Prosecos Cat 5 and Fast Flash. Let's have a waterproof assembly. Let's rain screen it so that that assembly is never even challenged. And then we'll do a good job putting siding back on here and nobody will know that they have the most advanced building science house in the neighborhood. Check out other videos on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.